Happy Movie Tuesday. And no, I didn't go shopping today. The only real big release that came out was First Man. Kind of interested in that one, but I'll probably wait till that drops in price. But we do have three packages here, and a few of these items actually did get released today. Uh, so I figured uh, we'll do an unboxing video. Three packages. Let's do it. How's it going, everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Yeah, we got uh, some good stuff. We got three first time to Blu ray items, and we also have uh, three Scream Factory collector editions. Yeah, three collector editions and one unboxing. So, one of the collector editions came out last week, and then the other two got released today. And then the uh, first time to Blu ray items. One of them I got last week, and then the uh, other two got released today as well. So I decided to just kind of wait, just to kind of put them all together. I thought it'd be a cool unboxing to do, you know, for, you know, a bunch of different items. So let's get into it, get these cracked open. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with this one here. <clears throat> I know what it is, and I am happy about it. Okay. Alrighty, so we got, uh, first time this is on Blu-ray, of the 1994 Roger Corman's Fantastic Four. Now, I'm going to tell you just real quick a little bit about this. So basically, this is that lost Fantastic Four film that never got an official release, never was in the theater, never got a video uh, release, um, and... There's, you know, there's a big story behind it as far as why it never happened, you know, why it never got officially distributed and produced and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, there's a documentary that came out on this movie called Doomed, the untold story of uh, Roger Corman's Fantastic Four film. And I bought that from this guy that uh, I believe, if I have this right... I think he was the director of the um, documentary on this. And um, <clears throat> he, again, if I'm right, I think he's the guy that made these. So they're not like, you know, again, official releases, but he went ahead and created, you know, a bunch of copies of, of this movie to Blu-ray with the best possible quality he could do um, to Blu-ray. And... Uh, I had to pick up a copy of it. Um, I ended up getting like a bootleg copy of it on DVD a couple of years ago at a convention um, that I don't know somebody put together, and now he put it on Blu-ray on um, that guy. So again, um, if you guys want to know a little bit about you know what the situation was, why this never officially got released, and all that, I recommend picking up that documentary because it's pretty good. Uh, but you can also go online and read a little bit about why, like what the exact stories of this, why it never got released. But I'm happy now to actually get a Blu-ray copy of it. Um, I'm sure it's not um, real, real good quality, but the guy said it's the best he could get. Um, the movie itself is, I mean, it's really cheesy, but when you're a DC Marvel collector like me, you just want everything for the collection. So to actually have a Blu-ray of the official slash unofficial first Fantastic Four film ever made, then, uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be your best bet. So awesome to have this. So here's a look at the better look at the front and then the back, if you guys can read that. So, yeah, very happy to have this. So let's go into the next package. This is the one that got released last week, so... A movie I didn't, I actually never really even heard of when they announced it at Comic Con last year. But after reading a little bit about it, um, watching the trailer, it actually looks like a pretty decent flick. So I'm definitely interested in uh, watching this. Okay. So here we go. Movie called Obsession. Uh, this stars, um, it's a Brian De Palma film, and it stars Cliff Robertson. For those of you who may not know who he is, um, he's uh, Uncle Ben in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. 
Um, and then we also get uh, John Lithgow. Um, but it's it sounds kind of cool. Um, I'm definitely interested in checking it out. My buddy Craig and I were not too crazy about the artwork. Um, I don't know, not one of the better ones, but um, it's the next collector edition, so I'm excited to have it. Let's get the wrap off and uh, get a closer look at it. Okay, here we go. Got it opened up here. I already uh, flipped over the uh, alternate artwork. So let's take a closer look at the uh, new commissioned artwork. So kind of, kind of weird. It's all right, I guess. I don't know. So here is a closer look at the movie itself. If you guys want to read about this. And then we come down here. And here's our special features. So... Not a whole bunch, but we got a few. Boy, uh, Cliff Robertson, man, he was young in this movie. Um, I think I think it was like a 70s movie. Yeah, 1975. So, slipcover looks great. Here's a closer look at the, uh, I guess, original poster. And now let's take a look at the inside. And we do get the uh, new artwork on the disc, so that's cool. Okay, let's go ahead now and do this one. And I lately, when I order stuff off of Amazon, even if they have the same release day, they've been sending them in separate packages, but for some reason they put them all in this one. And, you know, I've been feeling it, and they're... Uh, I don't know if they're all in here. I hope they are. All, there's four. There should be four items in here. <clears throat> uh, the other two Screen Factory Collector Editions, and then um, two the two new to Blu-ray titles all got released today. So, <clears throat> all right, it's gonna fill one at a time here. Okay, so first one I'm gonna show you here is. Getting Even with Dad, one of the last Macaulay Culkin films that have yet to come to Blu-ray. Um, <clears throat> I Honestly, I think this might be it now as far as Blu-ray titles. At least I know pretty much like all his childhood movies that he did. I think this was like the last one. Oh, Richie Rich. I always forget about that one. Richie Rich still needs to come to uh, Blu-ray. I'm hoping Warner Brothers will put it out, but we'll see. But anyway, Getting Even with Dad, a film he did with Ted Anson. Love this film. I've always loved this film. Uh, <clears throat> not one of the more liked out of fans, but I, I, I enjoy the hell out of it. So to see it on Blu-ray now for the first time, hell yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to reach in here for the other first time to Blu-ray item. So one that... I know a lot of people don't like this movie, and I'm, I kind of like it. At the same time, I really don't. But uh, that is Roadhouse Two, first time to Blu-ray. I think the movie is, you know, it's enjoyable. I just wanted it mainly for the collection because I obviously have the first one. Um, there's just one thing about this film in particular associated with the first one that I don't like. So for those who may not have seen this yet, I won't say what it is, but. Otherwise, I mean, it's it's an all right movie. <clears throat> you get Jake Busey in here, Will Patton. Um, but just came to Blu-ray, so I had to jump on it. So um, <clears throat> I'll show you. I'll show you these in a second here. Uh, you know, a close-up shot of them here in a minute. Once I get them all out of the package. So now we got our two Screen Factory Collector editions. All right. First up here is a Charles Bronson film, Ten to Midnight. I'm really digging that artwork. I've actually never seen this movie, um, but I really like the uh, artwork on the cover. <clears throat> I think it looks badass. So there's that one. And then the last one in here is one I'm really super excited about. Uh, we, get, we finally got a Stallone film on Scream Factory Collector Edition, and that is Cobra. Unfortunately, this is... One of the few in the collector edition line that <laughs> didn't get okayed for new artwork, which kind of sucks because if you know that, you know, if you've seen this movie, I can just imagine the badass artwork they could have done for it. <clears throat> but 
still, we get a collector edition of Cobra, one of my all-time favorite Stallone films. So badass. Um, yeah, just, just awesome. So, all right, you guys. So let's go ahead now. We'll get the wrap off these and get a closer look at them. All right, so let's get a closer look at Getting Even With Dad. Now, look, I was looking at the back. I forgot that this was MVD Marquee. I forgot that MVD released this one. This is, you know, part of the Marquee collection compared to the, you know, the rewinds that I collect all of them of. But I forgot that uh, <clears throat> MVD Marquee put this out, which sucks because most of their Marquees have had slipcovers. And uh, this one doesn't, which kind of stinks. But anyway, here's a look at the front. And then if you guys want to read about it, go ahead and pause on that. Okay, and then shot of the inside. All right, let's take a look at uh, the next one. All right, here's Roadhouse 2. And again, this is a MVD marquee as well. So kind of a bummer, I guess. They're starting to make these without uh, slipcovers now, which kind of sucks. I really hope they don't do that to the rewinds because, wow, I'll be pissed. But uh, anyways, here's a shot of the front. So as you can see here, like father, like son. So he is um, Patrick Swayze's son in this movie. Um, uh, you know, Dalton uh, from the first one. So, And then if you guys want to read about that one. Okay, there you go. And look at the inside. All right, let's take a look at Cobra here. So again, as you can see, no alternate artwork. We'll look at the inside here, and it's just a picture of like a, sh a scene from the movie on the alternate side. So no reverse artwork, obviously. Um, but uh, let's take a look at our special features. Slipcover looks good. Uh, if you guys want to read about this movie, like I said, it's a badass Stallone film, one of my favorites. And it looks like they do have a nice amount of special features in this one, which is pretty badass. I'm pretty excited to uh, check all those out because the standard edition that came out that I used to have uh, didn't really have anything, I don't think. But All right, so let's go ahead now and take a look at the last one. And now our last one here, 10 to Midnight. So this obviously does have the reverse artwork from the original poster, which is cool looking. Kind of almost looks like a like a new <laughs> Screen Factory artwork. But uh, like I said, I've never seen this movie, but it, you know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the new artwork kicks ass. So let's so look at the inside here. And then let's take a look at the back of this. If you guys want to read about that. And then special features, nice little chunk of those as well in this one. So, yeah, there we go. All right, that's all of them. So let's do what we always do. Let's get the protector sleeves on them, get them on the Scream Factory shelf. All right, got them all on the sleeves. And let's try to do this, do this with one hand here. So you guys can see I made some rearranging on the shelf start making more room for uh you know new titles so i just left the very bottom for just like standard uh screen factory releases still books and box sets and then these three will be the um collector edition so as you can see we've opened up a little bit more room here so all right let's go ahead and try to get all three of these in here if we can uh, all right i'm trying Hold on. All right. There we go. So, um, these two here, the reason why these are here is because these are technically supposed to be collector editions releases, uh, but just like, you know, like box set versions of them. I guess technically they're supposed to be collector editions but if you don't count them and you just count all the collector edition slip covers cobra is the hundredth one so pretty badass so uh yeah there we go it's looking good looking all good. right that'll do it for this unboxing hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up just hit the like button down below drop me a comment let me know if you guys picked up these items share the video around subscribe if you have not See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.